my freedom money good morning happy happy friday i hope that you've watched my video about uh how to open up an investment account and uh voohoo i'm going to change the title to voohoo uh which is one of the s p 500 uh portfolio if you want to just invest in the s p 500 Warren uh, Buffett says 98% or most people just need low expense ratio um, index funds, okay? He sent out a letter stating that when he dies, his wife, to his managers that's managing his money, his wife's money should be uh, invested in low expense index fund in Vanguard. And he likes Vanguard, he said but he also likes spy. So be sure to watch those video about what should I invest in? Those of you who are interested in investing again, I am not telling you to invest. This is not financial advisor advice. I am not a financial advisor. I am not a certified CPA. I am not a certified financial advisor. I am not even a financial guru. I am just a girl who had a baby at 16, was on welfare, went to college, was always interested in money, always had money, been investing since I was in my 20s. I've been investing for 20 years, who with my husband and I and our children crossed a financial milestone last year. So I don't have any education expertise in financial advice. I'm just telling you what I did. I'm not telling you to do what I did, but I do have a lot of you emailing me, text, um, Instagramming me to ask me questions on finances. And I am also writing a book called My Freedom Money. What is My Freedom Money? It's not something you go apply for. I'm going to have my girl change this. Matter of fact, let me message her now. It's not something you apply for. Ain't nobody going to give it to you. You can't get it from a bank. You have to work for it. You have to invest. You have to save. You have to live below your means to get your freedom money. So what do I want to talk to you about today? Today, I want to talk about how I lost $20,000 in the stock market, girl. So let me tell you what happened. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, share this out. I absolutely love you and adore you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for you. Let me tell you what happened, girl. So our financial advisor came to the job yesterday. That's the guy you do your 457 through. So, you know, I brought a couple of people up because they, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to tell people, listen, you need to sign up for a 457. This is more money you're going to have towards your retirement account. So I went up and again, and nobody was sitting at the table. So I sat down and I was talking to him again. I said, you know what? I was there after I increased my investment amount. Okay. So starting next month, well, next pay, he said, my investment that's going into my 457 is going up because every year you get a little raise, you need to put that money in there. Okay. Technically, I didn't get a raise. I'm going to get one eventually. Um, so I increased my investment amount. And so, and so thankfully my girlfriend, uh, she increased hers too. She's like, James, I want what you got, what you got your money in. That's what I want my money in. Okay. I was like, yeah, girl, I'm trying to tell you, put your money in. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, I'm talking to him and he said, you know what? I asked him about one of my uh, mutual funds. Okay. Cause 457, they're mutual funds. Okay. And so I said, you know what I was thinking? Um, I lost a lot of money during COVID because I was not working and I was not investing during COVID, you know, that, uh, 2020, mm -hmm, I had taken a leave from work. So from March to October, I was home and I was not working. So guess what, y'all? I was not putting money in my 457. Of course, you can only put money through in your 457 through the job. So you're not working, ain't no money going in there. And so also because I was not working 
No money was going into our Roth IRA. Uh, I think money was still going in Little Michael's College Fund, um, but that was it. So I said, you know what? I was thinking, I lost a lot of money. So he was like, yeah, let's go see. So he went back to 2020 and his eyes was like, he said, you lost about $20,000. I said, my Lord, $20,000 because I was not invested, not because I was invested and the market fell because I was looking at my, 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 my portfolio at my statements and I'm like, okay, 1,000 gone, 2,000. Okay. 3,000. Okay. My husband, 10,000 laws, 20,000 laws. 30,000. I said, no, I can't look at it. So I stopped looking at our, our statements because it was just too much for me. 1,000, I can understand. 30,000, I can't handle it. So I stopped look, looking at it. I have, I didn't open them. They're, they're probably around here somewhere. I didn't open them. But the reason I lost $20,000 approximately is because when the market went down, I was not buying stocks and shares at the lower price. You understand? So let's say you have a stock cup and stock, stock cup during the regular time was $100, right? The market crashed. So now stock cup is now selling for $50,000. Hang on, that's my husband's phone. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So regular times, cup costs $100. But when the market crashed, cup is now selling for $50. So I wasn't buying it when it was $50. You understand? I was only buying it at $100. So that's how he said, well, I understand what he said. I'm just explaining it to you that you lost about $20,000 during the year of COVID because I was not um, I was an investor because I wasn't working and my money uh, goes towards our investments and savings and stuff. My husband's income goes towards our expenses and bills and some savings because he, he does make a few dollars, a lot of dollars, <laughs> but my income goes towards our Roth IRA, our savings, Lou Michaels College Fund. Lou Michaels College Fund was still coming out because I had savings to the point that, you know, I could make sure his was still going and his account did really, really well. Cause I was looking at his account and my account and I'm like, wait a minute, his account is doing better than my account. Maybe they should put what's in his account in my account. His account did very well because during COVID I was still putting money in, uh, in his account because I just have it set up where I have so much money in a savings account for his education that it just every month, every month they take out. So What's the purpose of this video is that no matter what, keep investing, right? So I was not invested in my 457. Neither was I invested in my in my Roth IRA um, because I was I wasn't working and getting my my earning goes towards me and my husband's Roth and savings. Right. Ooh, excuse me, excuse me, and stuff like that. And so because we only had my husband's income, I didn't. I was like, okay, it was just, it was just okay because our expenses were paid, our bills were paid. We were still living a comfortable life, so on and so forth. So, um, I wasn't putting any money in 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 our Roth IRA. So, no matter what's going on, if you can continue to invest. Again, I am not telling you to invest. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm just telling those of you who's wondering and asking question. This is what you would still continue to do. Um, based on what, whatever is going on that you try to invest. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like, um, a comment, a message, share this out. Let's grow this channel and let's get some views on this channel. I absolutely love you, my darlings. Let me know what you think. Are you investing? Are you planning on investing? Are you going to be buying some of the stocks I'm talking about? Do you have a Roth IRA? Do you have a 457? Do you have a 401k? Did you go to your job and say, do you have a 401k? Do you have a 457? I want to invest in it. Let me know in the comments. I absolutely love you and adore. I want to remind you, uh, those of you who I want to show me love and support. Listen, I need love and support too, y'all. 
And uh, my books are available on Amazon, 25 Times of Guys in Christ, I Am Moments of Gratitude, 10 Years of Girlfriend, How to Not Give Girlfriend, Boyfriend, Brands, Take a Cook of Table, Naked Wife, uh, Word of Wisdom, The Bible, Read You by One Year. I have to go over there and do some content. Dance of Days is coming very soon. The Husband Profile course begins April 6th. If you have not registered for this course, please email me. And uh, let me know what you are doing, okay? So we can do our one-on-ones. I love you. I have to go. Talk to you later. Bye, darlings.